Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. Today I will try to show you how and when you can use Scratch block which is called Delete Item of List. Um, I'm using the word item, although you cannot see that word in Scratch. In Scratch block you have number and there is a reason for it, just um, again we are going to see that in a few seconds, but don't get confused again. Uh, in Scratch and other game engines you store different types of information in lists and sometimes um, it's easiest to call those information items in terms of those information can be numbers, letters and so on so uh, this number represents the position of some item in your list so let's check that in scratch and again you with this block you're just deleting some specific item of the list so if i pick number one that will be just like saying to scratch delete the first item of inventory if i put two or three that would mean delete number two in the list three and so on so scratch doesn't care what that item is he deletes the item on position one two three or whatever so you can only type number here and then specific item is deleted and we have seen before that there is also some scratch block which is called delete all of list which deletes all items of list so with this block delete all of list you delete all items at once and with this delete one two or whatever number you put in this field you delete a very specific item from the list okay so i'm using the same file the same project which i was developing in few previous uh, tutorials but um, i haven't uploaded it yet to scratch site so i have to do that as soon as possible so for all of you who are too lazy or too busy to code this on your own you can just follow along with the files already on the scratch site so i will do that soon and i have made few changes here so let's go fast through all of those three changes uh, just because i wanted to start coding with this block as soon as possible so i had to make change on um, how my character moves in previous videos I had only two arrows pressed left and right to move left and uh, right so now I added up arrow and down arrow to move character up and down so my cat now can move up and down left and right and that is just because I need to collect other items so I don't want to collect apples only but also bananas and oranges so that's why I have changed the movement so that was the first change and the second change was i have changed the item inventory size so now i have typed four so we have we can have four items in our inventory list and that's because i want to show you um, different stuff here so uh, one or two items in list would not be enough so we need more do more than two uh, in my case it's four that's the second change and the third change was adding the same code from apple to bananas and oranges the only difference here is that i have changed the text here so when i touch the banana with cat the bananas sprite will hide and bananas text will be added to inventory same with oranges if i touch the orange the orange text would be added to inventory so my game would look like this now if i collect apples the apples would be added to the inventory if i collect bananas bananas oranges would be added and the four items is our limit so far okay so uh, this looks like some kind of real world game and 
this is what we are starting with okay um, again we are trying to learn this scratch block delete something from inventory so I will try to find that block by clicking on variables group of blocks and now trying to find this one delete some number out of inventory number meaning the item with the position in list okay so uh, again I don't have to add this piece of code to any kind of more complex complex code in scratch I can only click on it and some thing will happen so we will see that soon but before that just check out what I have collected here in my list uh, while playing my games so I have collected uh, one apple then again one apple one and two are apples then on the tr uh, on the third um, list item there is bananas and on the fourth place there is orange so that is a real world scenario so when I press delete one of inventory what do you think will happen one the first position you can see here on the left there is number one two three and four so one is apple so what will happen if I click delete one of inventory oops I have clicked it a couple of times sorry because my mouse is buggy but I have clicked two times and I have deleted number one was apple so apple was deleted and I clicked again and uh, again apples wa was deleted again because when you delete you can see that also now when you delete something from the inventory all other items which are left in inventory they go up in position so we had apple one apple two and then bananas three oranges four but because we have deleted first and second place bananas are moved oranges are moved up and they become one and two so i will try to click once only so when i click bananas sorry when i click delete one of inventory that means first position the item on first position bananas will be deleted and origins will become one yeah simple as that so you see you so with this item you can delete specific item with this block sorry with this scratch block you can delete specific item from inventory and you can delete it by saying delete that item first second third so we are using numbers positions of items and deleting them so again you don't have to delete the first one always sometimes you will need to delete for example number two so i want for example i want to uh, drop bananas to delete to use to eat bananas in my game so bananas are second item so i need to say delete number two from inventory and now i have apples only and now i can for example say <coughs> <coughs> delete all of those with this one and so on so you can play as much as you want uh, so you can uh, what would happen if I, for example, collect four items and that's all cool, that's like some real game scenario. And I say delete number six. I have only four items here, one, two, three, four, and I say to scratch, okay, delete me number six, the item number six nothing happens why because i have four items only so scratch doesn't see this as some kind of error or he doesn't respond to you in terms of oh you have only four so it's up to you to know how many items you have and what you want to delete so sometimes you will make some kind of errors like this uh, trying to delete more than you have or something like that and that's because again you haven't checked the length of inventory so when you check the length of inventory for this one doesn't make sense but i just wanted to show you 
that that is possible okay so uh, when you are going to use this in uh, real world games in house so for example I'm going to use this uh, image as an example of um, a very famous game Fortnite and how you see uh, the inventory in top uh, right corner where you have some pickaxe some um, guns and uh, rifles and also some um, first aid kits so uh, also below those icons you have numbers to select those items fast from your inventory so when I click one my pickaxe is selected so I can use it and equipped uh, when I click two my rifle and uh, when I click five I can use my first aid kit uh, that is again very very simple but very powerful uh, concept and mechanics and it is uh, replicated all around different game genres and um, that is something which we can say is standard for games so um, maybe in some future tutorials i will try to make something like that uh, again from the scratch and uh, because again we don't have inventory like this in our scratch game so far we don't have those icons I don't have icons for apples and oranges and so on. I only have list and list is something which takes too much space on my screen and it's not very uh, fun to look at. It's not very impressive. So instead of those informations, these are only informations, text, apple, text, word, apple, text, word, bananas, word. So they doesn't mean anything until we say to scratch, okay. I need to transfer this word apple into something on the screen, into something which my character can use, like eat apple, eat banana and gain some health, or use rifle and shoot enemies, use first aid kit and gain some health, simple as that. That is a little bit more complex, but I will show you just one example of uh, what we can do here, so for example, imagine uh, instead of uh, instead of using these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 in Fortnite to select items we are going to use those numbers on our keyboard to drop item, items or uh, maybe select item but let's say uh, I'm going just to test can I destroy items, drop items or something like that when I press buttons. So I want to press number one and do what? When I press number one, delete the first item out of my inventory. I will now duplicate this one and change when number two is pressed, delete number two and because i have four items in my inventory i need four of those and so what will happen now i have four different items in my inventory and I say, when I press the key 1, delete the first one, when I press 2, delete the second one, when I press 3, delete the third one, for the fourth one, and so on, because I have 4 items inventory. So, what will happen now, if, for example, I'm playing the game like Fortnite, and I want to drop my bananas, which are, for example, I don't know, a rifle, or something like that, I want to destroy it or drop it on the ground, I press number 3, and it's out of the game uh, we don't see it on the ground we have to code that maybe later maybe a new tutorial but we have deleted it uh, the problem which we have here is that my orange which was number four now is number three it's something which is already how scratch works once you delete the item from the list all others move up so if i delete 
apple which is on the second place and now my orange will be become number two from three it will pop up to number two so look at this inventory and look at how when i delete the apple by pressing the number two orange which is three will become two like this so uh, that is something which is characteristic to scratch uh, so those things doesn't happen like that in fortnite for example and this is a good example how you would have to code all of that so when i press for example number two to drop the rifle with uh, green icon and uh, my number three doesn't pop up on number two four or number three they don't move so i i, I would have to code that in the scratch and say when i delete something other should stay on the same position so it's not so uh easy in terms of it's not all built in by default in the scratch but again uh think of this scratch block which we have learned today uh as a tool as something which you will use when you need it and however you need it so for example i have also my quests list here so uh, for example i can use this new block when my collect apples quest is finished it is fulfilled i have collect the apples the quest is done then delete what delete not all but delete some quest from the quests list again the problem here is that sometimes you would not know by default because I, if i don't see my quest lists like this i don't know what is the number one item in my quest lists is it collect apples or, or collect oranges so you can get confused here and make errors but again this is only one block while we learn others you will also learn how to avoid those problems and confusion because all of those blocks give you all of the options needed to code any kind of inventory or uh, complex mechanics and feature like this fortnite or inventory or whatever you want to make so the whole idea is to learn them all and then use whatever you need when you need sorry for uh, talking this much but again these lists they are like intermediate advanced stuff in um, not only in scratch but in other game engines in terms of uh, think about it as uh, manipulating the information a lot of information so in my case i have only four items in my inventory in my list but i think scratch and game engines in general they give you possibility to add thousands of ten or tens of thousands hundreds of thousands items informations into list so instead of having inventory with four items like we have here you can have a complete map like in minecraft or terraria or some game like that or our um, real-time strategy game and whole terrain whole game could be saved in your race in your lists so in every second in every moment you know what happens on every position in your game with every character with every ability that character has so try to think in those terms and then you will understand why is this so important why you have so much options and why you can use them to build anything you want thanks for watching and see you in next one